My name's David Waring and I'm a professor of clinical neurology at UCL. It's an amazing privilege to be able to do this work and it's because of the access to all the expertise that we have at UCL and within the NHS. So the, the Institute of Neurology, we have experts in all aspects of brain science and brain imaging. Um, and it's a real privilege to have access to that kind of expertise, as well as the patient populations, as well as the research teams. My research is into the causes and prognosis of people with brain hemorrhage and trying to understand how we can prevent people having brain hemorrhages, which in this country is about one in 10 strokes. And although it's only a minority of strokes, it's more severe. So uh, about 40% of people will die within a month. And those that do survive, uh, many of them will have severe disability. So it's a really crucial healthcare question. How can we prevent brain hemorrhage and how can we improve outcomes when people do have a brain hemorrhage? And I use predominantly brain scanning techniques and what we call cohort studies, and also some randomized controlled trials to look at these questions. And one of the big studies we've been working on over the last few years is looking at tiny pinpoint bleeds within the brain, which we call microbleeds. And the reason for studying these is that in stroke, we often put people on drugs that uh, thin the blood, is um, how we normally describe this. They're called anticoagulants. And that's to prevent strokes due, a, due to a blood clot in a blood vessel. But the cost of that treatment is that it increases bleeding and the very worst possible outcome is that it'll cause a bleed within the brain. And my research over the last few years has shown that if you've got these pinpoint bleeds, that increases your risk of a, of a big hemorrhage in the brain when you take an anticoagulant drug. And we, we hope these findings will be translated into improved risk instruments for patients and doctors to be able to quantify and understand that risk. When I first qualified in the NHS, we had no useful treatment for stroke. People would be admitted and really just observed, um, nursed on a general ward. We now have highly specialised stroke units. Outcomes are much better. We're much better at treating stroke. We can now get rid of the blood clots that cause stroke. And we're even now beginning to treat the most devastating type of stroke, which is brain hemorrhage. So I think the transformation of treatment the reconfiguration of care of stroke, particularly in London in the NHS, um, has been an absolutely amazing transformation and I hope we're going to see equally amazing things in the next 70 years.